Alright, true seekers. Well, I suppose I could talk to you about the coming crash done by Papa Biden or how they're going to try to take our private property. I feel every once in a while I should just move to some more lighthearted topics. I look into a lot of supplements that purport to enhance longevity, endurance, memory, drive, sleep quality, etc. Right now I'm looking into uridine monophosphate. It's not one I've tried before, though from what I'm reading I think it's one that I may consider. In my research process I would use uh, Amazon reviews. I'd watch a few videos on the supplements and I'd look at some published research. So let's look at this research first. So here we have a study, uridine treatment prevents REM sleep deprivation induced learning and memory impairment. So this is an animal study and basically it was determined that uh, feeding rats a specific dose of one millimole per kilogram, uh, the result of the feeding was that the uridine treatment enhanced learning and memory parameters for the REM sleep deprived rats. And also the ratio of this chemical total calcium calmodulo dependent kinase with uh, this other chemical, CREB, which is phosphorylated cyclic adenosine monophosphate response element binding protein, beta tubulin. Those ratios were prevented from progressing to a number typical for sleep deprivation. This is specifically an area of the hippocampus. Uh, that's this portion of the brain, an important area for learning new things. Now, some of the Amazon reviews will give me a sense of the effectiveness of a given product, often very specific to the manufacturer of the product. And I would say that there are some reviews that are really compelling. You know, I'm always looking out for this potential placebo effect where a person feels that a supplement is more helpful than it actually is. So you really have to take any review with a grain of salt, but at times you can find some rather convincing ones. Uh, so this is a review that I just want to highlight. I don't typically write reviews, but these are worth a try if you're thinking about it. Thinking back, I'd been listless, lazy, and depressed for years in my free time and struggling with the negative feedback loops from previous failures. A prescription helped get me to a place where I could begin to repair, but these, along with choline supplement, are improving my mental clarity, not only in intellectual capability and everyday interactions, but in regard to my psychological well-being. I'm able to think about things differently and with more charitable insights. I'm also starting to remember small details I thought were lost forever. I started taking them at night after dinner and I'm feeling even better results. I initially thought maybe it was improving the restorative effects of sleep and dreaming, but perhaps it's simple as taking them with food as I don't eat breakfast. I still need some big life adjustments, but I feel I'm becoming better equipped and more interested in doing so. I simply can't wait to take these every day. I have probably read thousands of reviews so far in my lifetime, and I just don't remember reading any review where the reviewer said that they can't wait to take a supplement every day. So I took that to be a sign of something. And this like uh, question of greater effectiveness at night got me thinking about it somehow improving sleep quality. So I then just searched the uh, combination of terms uridine and sleep. Just looking around, I came across this other article, it's a review article from 2001, Uridine Receptor, Discovery and its Involvement in Sleep Mechanism. This review deals with the concept of sleep mechanism based on our uridine receptor theory. It is well established that uridine is one of the sleep-promoting substances. We have therefore synthesized new types of hypnotic compounds from oxoperimidine nucleosides. To go to more specifics as to what exactly uridine is, it's considered to be a glycosylated pyrimidine analog containing uracil attached to a ribose ring. Essentially, it's a part of the spine of an RNA. It's considered a nucleoside. And so you have your DNA, which is what this is showing here. DNA can open up and then create strands of what's known as RNA. And so this U represents that particular nucleoside with the uridine. DNA with the double strand, RNA with the single strand. It should be noted that in animal models, chronic uridine administration could be associated with fatty liver and pre-diabetic conditions in mice. Some of the metabolic transitions that can make uridine potent in this negative way appear to be its phosphorylation, which is the attachment of certain groups that form something called uridine triphosphate, mentioned in this paper. So there are some reviewers who mentioned that the uridine monophosphate form is in general safer than the triphosphate form. There's some speculation that if uridine makes people tired, it could be the reason why beer may induce sleepiness. This website I'm on currently called LimitlessMindset.com mentions some reviews of uridine. For sleep, for some it's quite a sleep hack, it seems to, on an unpredictable basis, help me need less sleep. Oh, and if I'm ever sleep deprived, uridine completely picks me up and helps me feel better. Another person reported, I had to stop taking it after I almost fell asleep while driving. The same article has a link to a 90 page thread on longevity that talks about the potential merits of the substance, even though, controversially, there's just a single human study that has been conducted on it. So anyways, I'll conclude the video here. 
I'll likely try to supplement out and, and we'll probably do a review video explaining if I have observed any effects. Anyhow, peace.